What's up drummies, it's Artie here, welcome back to my channel. Now with it being summer, many of you watching this may be in high school or may be graduating high school. Some drum majors who are in high school or are graduating high school may be looking for other drum major opportunities to actually get involved with. Now if you've been watching my videos for a while or if you guessed by the title, you'll know that I compete in Scottish drum major competitions. This video is actually a series of videos which will be aimed towards drum majors who are interested in getting started in Scottish games drum major competitions. In this series, we will cover all the basics you will need to know to get started in competing in Scottish games. Scottish drum majoring is a competition which is usually held at Scottish festivals or Celtic festivals. These competitions are usually held in conjunction with a pipe band competition. Before we go on, let me dispel a few myths. Myth number one, you need to be Scottish to compete in Scottish games. Look at me, do I look Scottish to you? No, you don't have to be Scottish to participate at Scottish festivals. Myth number two, you need to be the drum major of a pipe band or a member of a pipe band to compete in Scottish games. No. While being a member of a pipe band does have its benefits, which I will get to later, you don't need to be affiliated with any pipe band to be able to compete in Scottish drum major competitions. To give you some context, I started competing in Scottish drum major competitions in 2004. I did not officially join a pipe band until 2012. So you don't have to be a member of a pipe band, but I will explain later on in a future video why being a member of a pipe band actually has some benefits. Now unlike my previous videos which actually talked about L Pattern which was a solo competition aimed towards drum majors, L Pattern was mostly based in California, in Southern California and in Northern California. Scottish Games is not only nationwide, it's also international. There are Scottish drum major competitions all over the United States, all over Europe, all over Australia, even South Africa has a Scottish drum major competition. Basically, if you have a large bagpiping community in your area, chances are you might have a Scottish drum major competition. Being an international competition, it's needless to say that there are a lot of organizations that are governing drum major competitions. Now, I live in the United States. <laughs> which has two primary organizations which govern pipe band competitions. That is the Western United States Pipe Band Association and the Eastern United States Pipe Band Association. Whichever way, whichever country you live in that has a piping community, you most likely will have a piping organization. All pipe band organizations all over the world are loosely based off of the Royal Scottish Pipe Band Association. This organization is essentially the mother organization of all pipe band associations all over the world. And the Royal Scottish Pipe Band Association is the one organization that holds the world championships. Whichever pipe band association you are affiliated with, make sure you consult your respective pipe band association's rule book and regulations. Now back to Scottish drum major competitions. The competitions are usually based on the venues they're held at. Drum major competitions can either be a one day event or a two day event depending on the venue. One thing to note with Scottish drum major competitions is that many competitions or pipe band organizations don't really care about your experience level. What really matters is your age. Usually if you are the age of 17 and under, you will be competing in the juvenile category. If you are in the age of 18 and over, you will be competing in the adult category. What does this mean to you as a competitor? Well, if you are a brand new competitor starting out in Scottish Games and you are the age of 18 and over, unfortunately you will have to be placed in the adult category. Good thing and a bad thing. Good thing you'll be competing with the adults. Bad thing is you'll be mostly competing with a lot of world class competitors. Now there are some competitions that actually do have a novice category for an adult or an open category, but most of the time you will be placed in an adult category or a juvenile category. Either way, the drum major competition is usually divided into two to three events, depending on the number of competitors. Now the first competition is known as the dress inspection. This is usually the most stressful portion of any drum major competition. Like L Pattern, the drum major judge will visually inspect your uniform. However, unlike L Pattern, the drum major judge will inspect all the competitors at once. For the dress inspection, the competitors will all march out or will be in formation as the drum major judge or drum major judges visually inspect each drum major. Every item on your uniform needs to be in a specific spot and measurements need to be precise. Now with it being Scottish Games, you will have to wear some form of Highland uniform, be it a daywear uniform or a regimental uniform. I will get into the details of this uniform in a future video. Every error the drum major judge finds on your uniform, be it a piece of lint or a button, a button, a button, 
is considered a point off of your score. After the dress inspection, you will have what's known as the marching and deportment competition. Unlike in L pattern where you compete to your own music and you compete by yourself, in Scottish drum major competitions, you will be performing to a live pipe band. In addition to that, you will be competing with other drum majors as well. In Scottish games, you will be competing in heats of two to five competitors depending on how many competitors there are. A designated pipe band will be playing a song which you will be marching to with the other drum majors. The march is usually a 6-8 quick march. Some competitions, especially on the East Coast, will require you to march to a slow march. In marching and deportment, you will be judged on your overall marching, foot drill, and flourishing. One thing to note is that marching in Scottish drum major competitions is very different than high school parade style drum majoring. It's very important that before you compete, you become familiar with how Scottish drill is executed. In most Scottish drum major competitions, you will march in a field that is at least 125 feet long by at least 25 feet wide. You will start off at one end and march to the other end. You will march back and forth while demonstrating marching and mace flourishing. In addition, you will need to demonstrate a series of foot drills, counter march, mark time, halt, and cut off. Keep in mind that you are doing this with two to three other competitors on the field. After marching and deportment is finished, scores are tallied and first, second, and third place is awarded. Now I mentioned earlier that sometimes drum major competitions can be two to three events. Now depending on the number of competitors, the heats can be known as elimination rounds. Marching and deportment can have up to five heats of drum majors competing. In each of those heats, drum majors are competing to be in the finals. The final heat is usually held later in the day and will usually have the final five drum majors competing for first, second, and third place. Now, if the competition is a two-day event, the drum majors will then come back the next day and do it all over again with a clean slate. At the end of the second day, first, second, and third place will be awarded again, but also, the drum major with the highest combined score will be named champion. Usually the prize is a perpetual trophy or some special privilege like leading the mass bands at the end of the day. Most games even award prize money. In the end, Scottish drum majoring is a great way to continue on the art of mace spinning long after high school. Just because you graduate high school doesn't mean you have to put down your mace completely. Scottish drum majoring being an international competition also has a very supportive community. And Scottish drum majors will always welcome brand new competitors to the field. Now I hope you enjoy this series aimed at helping beginner drum majors start their journey in Scottish drum majoring. If you're already an experienced drum major or if you've already competed before, hopefully you'll learn something new. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Cheers, keep marching and keep flourishing. I'll catch you guys in the next video.